Hello everybody! Today I'm gonna do my CD critique. Well, it's not really a CD critique, it's more of a video critique since it's on the internet, but still, it's a, it's a video. So today I'm gonna talk to you about the group Fall Out Boy. <clears throat> Fall Out Boy is an American... Okay, now I'm gonna start with a little uh, biography. So Fall Out Boy is an American rock band formed in Wilmette, Illinois. It's a suburb of Chicago. It uh, was formed in 2001. The group consists of four person. The the Patrick Stump who uh, sings and plays guitar, Pete Wentz that plays bass, Joe Truman that plays guitars, and Andy Hurley that plays drum. The group was formed by Wentz and Truman as a punk side project uh, of their respective band. Uh, Stump joined a little bit uh, after. <clears throat> the group went uh, through a lot of drummers before finally finding uh, Hurley and they recorded their first album in 2003. It was a huge underground success and it helped the band gain a good and stable fan base for heavy touring and a moderate commercial success. Once usually writes the songs and Stumps is the main composer. In 2005 they produced two, two hit singles, Sugar We're Going Down and Dance Dance. They went double platinum, transforming the band into real superstars. The band broke up in 2009, but they reunited in 2013, creating new hit single and a new album. So they produced six albums in total. The first one is Take This to Your Grave in 2003, after that From Under the Cork Tree 2005, Infinity on High 2007, Folly Adore 2008, Save Rock and Roll 2013, and American Beauty Sash American Psycho in 2015. So now I'm gonna do a literary analysis. So I have the songs here, so I will show you. So I have the songs right here. So I'm gonna start with the first song is My Songs Know What You Did in the Dark. So like uh, there's a little introduction of two lines, and there's the first couplet, four lines, and only the the first two rhyme together. AA is the pattern, and then the second uh, couplet, five lines. AABB is the pattern, like devil and devil together, and cave and rush together, and ignite doesn't rhyme with anything since it's alone. And then there's a transition transition line, and then there's the chorus. It's the same word that's repeated, so there's not really any rhymes in that. So another transition, um, uh, the third couplet. Uh, the the two line first line they don't don't really rhyme. It's like really poor rhyme, so I don't count them. And then they rhyme here too. C and me rhymes together. So in the third couplet, just the two last lines that rhyme. Then in the fourth couplet, um, the only the two first lines rhyme together. Ashes and ashes. And then there's another transition, the, the chorus again, we slide them up. Under the transition, bridge, chorus again, and that's how it ends. The second song is Centuries, so there's the intro, not really any words in that. And there's the chorus, there's 10 lines in total, but uh, like the two last lines are like yeah. Conclusions to the chorus, so I, I, I don't count them. So the rhyme pattern is A A B B C C B B because it, there's the sound me, E that returns in me centuries and history centuries. So uh, that's the, the, the B sound. Told the gold that the sound old and the um, uh, mistake and take the sound ache. So uh, a A B B C C B B. Now there's the first couplet. Nothing rhymes in that, so we'll pass to the second one. And nothing rhymes more in this couplet too. So there's the chorus that's back. And now another couplet, but nothing rhymes in that. If you, well, you can consider bloom and soon together because like the same sound, but not the the same termination. So. Same sound, so I count it. And then there's a bridge. A different pattern this time, forever, 
and for it's A B A D, like the words are forever and forever. It's like the same word, but it's two different lines, so uh, I count them uh, apart. Well, I count them together, I count them like different rhymes. And there's, there's proof and youth, I rhyme together. There's the chorus again, and um, the, uh, the conclusion of that. The next song is uh, The Phoenix. It begins like this, with the, the first couplet. It uh, rhymes A, A, B, B, and the two last lines don't... Uh, not rhyme, another transition, transition, second couplet, A, A, B, B again, heart attack back, start hard, now there's the, the, the chorus, I do first line dot rhyme, and uh, there's remix and phoenix that rhyme together, mystery and me, and then the phoenix and remix are repeated there, third couplet, rhymes A, A, B, B again, thanks Max, Max passed, the second couplet is repeated, the chorus is repeated again. There's the bridge, A, A, B, B, one begun, doves lost. The chorus repeated, and the conclusion, and that's it. For the rhyme analysis. So I'm gonna go next with the metaphors. So we can count, I found five metaphors in this song, the same three songs that I presented. The first met metaphor I can find me is in my songs, Know what, what You Did in the Dark. The lyrics are for all the fans who wanted Fall Out Boy, Fall Out Boy to come back. They are saying that they signed a, well, Fall Out Boy is saying that they signed a, a deal with the devil to, uh, to be privileged and to come back. So uh, like in the second couplet, they say, I'm in the details with the devil, so no, so now the world can never get on my level. So that's it, they're packed with the devil. The second metaphor, it's, a, it's the same song again. It's because they fell apart and they stopped uh, being a group uh, and they broke up uh, as a group. Uh, they're telling their fans that they are coming back, but they're not the same band as before. So uh, they say to light them up, or in other words, burn everything about them that they love about the first Fall Out Boy because they are back, but they are different. So uh, that's why they repeat line them up in the chorus. Third of all, they're also uh, saying to be careful what you wish for, that uh, this one's complicated, that uh, they were being exploited by the labels to be cash cows. So when they say in the song, somewhere another pretty vein dies, it means that another artist who changed for the label and became a cash cow just died. So uh, pretty deep. <clears throat> the next metaphor is in the uh, centuries. When they say uh, something to dust or to gold, you will remember me, remember me for centuries. It's, uh, it's about how a little uh, group, uh, a little band of the suburbs of Chicago uh, managed to, to get a lot of fame and uh, to be popular like this. And uh, like they, want, they will be remembered for, for history and for centuries. And uh, the last metaphor is in the song The Phoenix. In the lyric, I'll raise you like a phoenix. It's a metaphor to talk about uh, the mythical bird, like you know, uh, the, 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 the mythical bird, like the phoenix. Like if he dies, he reborns 500 years later. And it's a, it's a metaphor to talk about the comeback of Fall Out Boy and how they, uh, they reborn and they became a new band. So now I'll do the thematic analysis. There is a thing that is coming in the, the same three songs that I, I talked about. And uh, in those three songs, the, the, the theme in common, it's their comeback. Like uh, the three songs is the same. My, song know what you, my songs know what you did in the dark, centuries, and uh, the phoenix. The thing that is coming in those three songs, like I said, is the, is the comeback. The band broke up in 2009 and they reunited in 2013. But in all the three songs, they talk about uh, how they had changed from before and uh, how their comeback was, uh, was good for them and uh, how the break was good, like they come back as a new band, like you need to light them up all your memories about them earlier. And uh, yes, and uh, in The Phoenix, they talk uh, about uh, how the comeback was difficult but uh, now they are reborn like a phoenix and in centuries they talk uh, about uh, how, it was hard, how it was hard to become famous but how the comeback helped them uh, in their way to become more famous and to reach more people so uh, thank you for listening to me